Welcome to Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. It's episode 128. And this week we're doing uh, games that involve some sort of time travel, time manipulation, time, or maybe just have the word time in the title. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. There's a whole bunch. So I've managed to get at least two, two shows worth. Uh, and we're doing the first seven. Yes, we've got seven games tonight. Um, not quite sure how it's all going to work out. But we never do at this point in the show, do we? No, no, we don't. Um, nothing fun retro-wise for me this week. So uh, let's get over to the arcade. And um, let's play some games, shall we? Why not? I don't know. Is this where we should start? Yes, it's where we should start. Because we're going to start tonight with the Atari VCS. I'm not sure how time travel this is going to be. But if we think back and we think that um, Time Pilot, when we play Time Pilot, that would have fit in this um, in this theme. Um, because you're a pilot. Travelling through time. Uh, so this is an Atari VCS game called Time Warp. So. We're going to. Um, we're going to see what we've got. Let's make the screen fit the telly. Uh, that looks about right, doesn't it? Maybe a bit high. Oh. Does it move when I. Not massively. Ooh. Okay, so. First thing I will say is there doesn't appear to be any sound. And um, I have noticed that I haven't put my, my loop back on a separate screen. So we're going to move it over here, I think. So at least we can see if anything's happening. Uh, and of course, we always, always have problems with the controller. So... You know, let's um, see what happens. Oh. Whoa, that was fast. Wow. Okay, so, so I, I looks like we're fighting helicopters. Oh, and when we shoot them, they turn into something else. So, quick sanity check with the audience. Um, are we getting audio? I'm hearing audio. I'm seeing audio. Let's just move that this way so we can uh, have another go. Yes, I'm seeing some sort of audio coming through, so I think you're getting audio. Good. That's super. These guys are really fast. I do wonder sometimes with the um, the Atari emulation whether it emulates just a little fast. Um, see, I don't really have a lot of backwards and forwards either. You know, like sometimes you can get all the way to the middle of the screen, and that's as that's as far as I can get. You do have to kill them in order to advance. Oh. I mean, I'm curious about what the next level is, to be honest with you. Oh. Um, it's not a game that I remember playing on the Atari when I had one. I'd started a new game. So I'm curious about what they're going to turn into once I shoot them. And are we going to get to see it? Yes, we are. 
Ooh. Oh, is that it? And what's that? I mean, that looks a bit like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doomy. I do realise I've just said Doomy. me first. I feel my bullets go faster than it's. Bullets. Whoa there. Well, we're not going to get further than we did last time, are we? Oh, I killed myself! Dag, never. Oh, we're back to helicopters again. Oh, do we keep cycling around then? We'll never know. We'll never know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the game's quite loud, is it? Just a dag nab it. Well, look, look that, that, that was Time Warp. What a way to start our time travel uh, gaming session. Um, I'll have to turn each game down as I, uh, as I start it. Uh, okay. So let's move on, shall we? Let's move on. And we're going to move on to... Uh, um, bum, bum, bum. So now we're going to play a Game Boy Advance game, and it's um, Samurai Jack, colon, The Amulet of Time. So, look, I, honestly, you know, we've been a bit loose with the phrase time travel. So let's turn the game down a tiny bit. Probably be less irritating because it's not a it's not an Atari game. I mean genius what they did back then with the chips they had available, but Samurai Jack. Um, so, uh, let me know if um, we're going the wrong way. That's, that's it. There we go. Uh, let me know if it's too loud. We'll see how we get on. I might need to turn it up for me, though. That building looks like it's got a rather dapper moustache. Oh, that's a monk. Jeepers. Ooh, I don't know about you, but I don't I don't like that lettering. With its red and its green outline. Ooh. 
Jinky Scooby. Oh, unskippable bit of story. Well, I'm supposed to. What am I supposed to do? Oh, we're collecting items. I mean, I'm, am I supposed to talk to him? How do I talk to him? I'm conscious that I might end up knifing him. What's my knife? Oh, jump up the platforms. Right, okay. All right. All right. I think even I can do that. Oh, he's not a very good jumper, though. Nope. You need to be right on the edge, just like you think you're going to fall off. All right, where do you think we go from here? Do we think we go to this one? I have to remember, right on the edge. Okay, now what? Do we jump onto it? I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Oh! I didn't read that. Let's read that again. I was too busy going, oh, this text is rubbish. Hold down to crouch, move in any direction to crawl. Okay. Right. It's not a good jumper. Oh! Well, I hope you've seen enough because we're not getting past this, are we? Eventually. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on, mate. Oh. away from the wall. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Hope we don't need to do that in actual, uh, in the game. Jeepers. How are we supposed to do the ability? Did I miss something? Magical ability to freeze water! But it doesn't tell you how.
Oh, it only tells me the abilities that I've actually learned. Okay, it was worth a try. Uh, so what options do we have? Both shoulder buttons together. Shoulder button up, shoulder button down. Left and right. Okay. Much, much, much later. We'll look ourselves. And there's lots of people who are um, interested in finding out how to freeze the water. Well, let's just start the first one, shall we? So we're not supposed to. We're not supposed to do it. You need the ice gem from the Minotaur in the icy place. So... I thought we were following a step-by-step, -step, run through this training, run through that training. But it appears not. It appears that we are. Let's see if there's a another direction, perhaps, or... A... So we need a gem from somewhere else. The thing is, is there a way out? Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Is there a point where... Do they damage or not? I think we've done enough training there, don't you? Don't see any point. I don't think we're coming back to you ever again, Samurai Jack. So let's go back down and can we escape now? Can we go out? Oh, we're off out into the real world. After all these minutes spent training. We'll just do a couple more minutes just to get an idea of what the um, what the game is huge spiders well that's it I'm done I'm done I'm out bye bye do we talk to the old crone uh, no we don't She got three eyes. Yeah, don't see many point in talking to them, does there? the dripping drippiness do we think oh. 
Ooh, a ring. Oi. Oh, come on. Must be right at the end, doesn't he? I mean, I feel we should probably be looking in these places because there'll be a, a nice gem, I imagine. Come on, come on. There we go. Now, hmm, what do we do? Do we drop off there? Do you think? Oh, is that where we came from? No, we climbed up somewhere, didn't we? Oh, I'm gonna die in a minute, aren't I? No, 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 I don't. No, I don't. Uh, Samurai Jack, Amulet of Time. Okay. I'm sure at some point there would have been some time travel. M maybe, maybe. Um, okay, let's have a look. Uh, we're moving to the Master System now. And we're going to play a game called Time Soldiers. Which sounds like something you'd have with a poshed boiled egg, to be honest. <laughs> um, okay, time soldiers, there we go. This is on the Sega Master System. Which means it's huge. There we go. Well, that sounds a bit quiet. You'll have to let me know if it's uh, if I've just turned it up too loud. Ah, oh, okay. Let's go. What have we got? Oh, I've got two players. Oh no. So, uh, commando. Oh, bad guy. Uh, do we walk upwards or do we walk? Oh, yeah. Ooh. oh do, don't get hit by these guys. Just warning you. Well, that didn't go very well, did it?
I'm just going to turn it up a little bit more. So it's, uh, it does seem quite quiet. Right. Okay. I think we've got an idea of what we're supposed to do. So let's have a let's have another go. Right, we've located them in the tap. Okay. So, we don't move left. Uh, we don't move right, really. But they do come from behind us. Oh no! Oh no, I can't get it! Shit. Was that my only um, booster then? I got an axe to the head. Right. I don't appear to have a jump. Not sure why the dinosaurs are firing um, balls of energy at me or whatever they are. So we'll try and get past them. Now, what was that? Well, not liking that. Oh no. That's what happens when you go just running in. You just die. You just die. God damn it. Read that that name Warrior Lap Place. Uh, 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 read it as Lap Dance then for a second. I thought, my goodness, what's going on? How many worlds do we have to try? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 Leslie, what's going on? So. Oh, I wish I could get the diagonal sorted out. Oh, now, why, why is it changed? Does it start random? Or, oh, am I dead already? I'm not actually sure what happened there. So we're starting it like normal. Oh, we're in Rome. So why are we not in dinosaur land now? Or does it start randomly each time? Which seems a little modern for this. So, I'm going to need that sup. I wonder if this is the sort of game where you're not supposed to kill each one, you're just supposed to um, get as far as you can. They don't look like Romans to me, them though. Wow, how many lives do you get? 
I felt that didn't last very long. Well, come on, we played Samurai Jack for like nearly 20 minutes, so let's um let's keep going. Still the age of Rome, I don't understand. Right, one life. Two lives. Three lives. Yeah. So three lives. So so that that what I thought was an extra life then patently is not an extra life. Sup. You see, that was dinosaurs again, wasn't it? Perhaps it... Boy, now you see. It's a different bloke. It's not lap dance. Okay, so we've... Back at this again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not concentrating now because I'm getting annoyed with it. Urgh. Right, one more go, and then we're turning it off. We're turning it off, even though we're not even halfway through yet. Right, not pressing any buttons. See, so worry a lap dance. Oh, piss off. Oh, you can't walk into them. That's bad. Stupid game. Well, there you go. That was Time Soldiers on the Master System. And we're going to move into its um, its brother. In fact, wow. So we're going in time. We're actually traveling in time as we move to the Mega Drive. And then we're going to move further into the future through, through and past the Mega Drive. It's not been set up that way. It's just the way they've fallen. It's the... Mysterious workings of the alphabet. <laughs> okay, so on the Mega Drive, then we're going to what game are we going to be playing? We're going to be playing Time Killers. By the curse of the Black Pearl. Okay, so what sort of what have we got going on this time? Do we think? Time 
Hello. Is but a scratch. What have we got here? I seem to be able to fire fireballs or kick. I don't have any punch or anything like that. It's weird. And, and I don't know how to use my axe. So we didn't have... What have we got? Um, Mega Drive in it. So... That's kick. Oh. Oh, that's a punch. Right, okay. Kick. Oh, is this a, is this a six button one, do we think? Maybe? Pick somebody else. Controls working all I want, as in to win. It doesn't feel like your standard. So there's a bit of a twirly kick that doesn't seem. And there's a there's a forward kick. Is that does that work? Oh right, so it goes up in the air as well. Yeah, well that was a bit of a Chun Li kick she's got going on. You can't, can't kick an axe, love. You can't kick an axe. So, what, what the actual fuck? All right, let's pick somebody else. Why are you punching when you have a sword? Tell me. Tell me why. That's a kick button. Oh, now we've got shoulder buttons. Right, okay. So I wonder if this is supposed to be a six button game. I have already said that. I may have already said that. So we've got a headbutt, which is pretty pointless. Right. Oh, so. So left left shoulder appears to be some sort of uh, well for this guy it's attack with a sword. Um Orion. So let's see if it's the same for this guy. Just don't put your head first, mate. Right. They really, really wanted to be Mortal Kombat, didn't they? So, why why is the sword attack not part of 
the buttons. Why do you have to actually... Got, he's got the gist of what I'm doing now. <clears throat> um, I wonder if there's uh <clears throat> Cake Boy. Okay. Yeah, we don't want turbo. We'll go with arcade, shall we? Right. So decapitate is, is the biggest one. But we don't have anything that tells us what the controls are. However, we've made it to a, a better difficulty for us. So maybe that'll give us more time to work it all out. Uh, who haven't we played? Let's do rancid this time then, shall we? I'm still gonna die. Okay. Nearly died though, didn't I? No messing around. Straight in there with a de decapitation. At least he didn't chop my head off that time. So it looks like if you press in a different button, you can you can only press one button at a time. Unless you dare like you direct your direction you can. Hey, hey you. So maybe it's they're not easier fighters, you just get more credits. <laughs> right. going to get him then when bits of him were f dropping off. Let's 
Oh, he's not messing around then. It's like, you beat me once, I'm not having it again. Is it all about patience? Oh, we've talked about this before on games, haven't we? They just haunt me. I believe he just haunt me. Well, look, I think um, we've got one more character to play, so we might have five credits, but we're only going to be uh, seeing what this one does. Those arms off. Would it be wrong to say he's armless? It probably would. Got a longer reach then, has he? Is that, is that why I'm winning? Oh no, he's taken one of my arms! Hey, boys and girls. I won one. So what? Well, we've played them all and we've all played the Chinese guy who is now dead. What happens when we pick this guy again? Oh. Oh, how do I do that? Shooting? Chop a leg off. Chop a leg off. Come on, chop a leg off. Chop a leg off. Stop shooting me. Oh no. Where's the shooting come from? a character where you can just keep doing the same move over and over again and he wins that's what I need still I would like to know how that other guy's doing the shooting perhaps I need to stop him from getting the distance to um Trying to get me, he's in, trying to entice me closer while the clock was down. Oh, you shitbag. He just went straight in and chopped my head off. Oh, I see. It goes to a score when I beat them, and I didn't beat that one. Well, there you go. Time killers. 
time, Mortal Kombat Killers. Um, so now we're moving on to the next evolution of the Mega Drive, the Mega CD. He says with his fingers crossed, hoping that these will work fine. Um, and we're going to play a game called Time Gal. Time Gal. Um, oh, oh, I say that. We're going to open a game called Time Gal. And we're going to see what we've got. Uh, right, okay, different size screen. I thought you just love a different ratio. Uh, oh, no, needs to be a bit smaller. Sega CD. There you go. I know there's some of you in the audience that like a Sega. Game creative staff. Wolf team. We've got enough data to fit on the CD now. We can do voices. Would watch based on the theme tune. So, is this a game then, or is it a? Oh, I thought I turned it down. Maybe this is too loud. Can't turn it down any further. Let's just turn it down here instead. See if that's any better. Right. So, is it a game or is it a... Yes, it is a game. Good. Let's have a look at the options first. There is an easy option. What's visual mode? Let's come back to that maybe later, if we remember. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. I see. We're playing Dragon's Lair. And I don't know what any of the controls are. Nope. What am I supposed to? Let's press a different button. Nope. All right. So, I, 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 our, our time here is going to be very short lived. How the actual F? I'm going to have to remember sequences. So the first one was down. Down. Sideways. Sideways. I didn't see anything flash. What, what was, was I supposed to jump then? So down, sideways, sideways. Down. Sideways. Sideways. Jump. No. So, I did sideways instead of jump. I didn't jump. What is jump? Is there a jump? I don't know what the action button is. Down. Sideways. Sideways. Not sideways enough. Didn't do it at the right time. And this is why we don't play Dragon's Lair.
Down. Sideways. 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 No, not that sideways. It's got to be a jump. But there's no way of knowing what the controls are. Down. Sideways. Sideways. Jump. Nope, it's not that button. Not that button either. Shit. Um, could it be up? The direction up? Yes, it is. Right. So, I've just noticed <laughs> I know it's a little bit late to be noticing that, but they were lighting up. Now, is it just purely directional? And you just go where where the... Um... <laughs> Come on, we're going to have another go at this. I need to find out if this if there's a soundtrack for this. Oh, I've got to find out what visual mode is. Oh, you need to have done something before you get visual mode. Okay. So keep watching the. Oh, we've started in a different place. Oh no. You can't catch me, you can't catch me. Let me go. Tits. So basically we're playing a game of reactions now, aren't we? You can't catch me, you can't catch me. Not quick enough. Jeez, it wants it to be quick. Did we get past some sort of... Oh, we're back now. Oh, press the wrong one. Twitch. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. You say more than that, love. Okay, where now? Right, left. Up. Down. Ouch. Keep missing the down. Not quick enough. Ah, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> right. No, not tonight, but. I'm not saying we might never, we won't see that again. Oh, there's a lot of double negatives there, weren't we, wasn't it? We don't play a lot of these sorts of games because they're really repetitive. Um, so, yes. Um, well, there you go. Time, gal. 
on the uh, on the Mega Drive. Uh, sorry, on the Mega CD, uh, which was uh, an add-on to the Mega Drive. Let's pull that there so we can um, download the soundtrack later. <laughs> oh. uh, now, we're going a step further forward in time to the Sega Saturn, which is the, the big brother of the two, three previous consoles. Um, could be a bit hit and miss this one because this has got a Japanese title, and the Japanese title is... Geki Geki Rinden Geki Rinden <coughs> So could be all in Japanese who knows uh, but we're gonna get you a screen and we're gonna find out We're gonna suffer together This also has a, an English subtitle of time travel shooting which is how it got on the list um my other concern is if even if it is in Japanese or even if it's in English, sorry. Um my other concern is the um the Sega Saturn had a uh, an interesting line of light gun games. Um I've got a couple of Saturns, I've got a whole bunch of light guns for them. Um just need to tell you to make them work them. No. Um so I don't know. Don't know. We'll have to find out. Geki Rinden. I hope I've got enough buttons. Oh, excuse me. If I turn it down anymore, it's not going to, um, it's going to be on mute. Okay. Uh, 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 yes. So have we got, have we got a, is it a shmup? It is, okay. I see. Bigger bullets, that's what I want. Okay, I'm seeing some explosions. We're, we're shooting something. Oh! Bum face. To be careful. Well, ooh, that was evil. Gotta keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, oh.
Uh, the thing about these games is they do give you some nice power-ups, but they put an awful lot of bullets on the screen at the same time. Bleeding Transformer. I imagine with it being J Japanese, of course. God, how much? battering is it going to take? Whoa! Whoa! Yo! Dead. Can't have many lives left now. Or, or none? None lives? No, it's wanting me to put my name in. What happened? I mean, I'm starting to wonder if I need to be shooting right up the middle to get its head or whatever it is. Something keeps exploding, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Oh! Did I get it? Did I get it? I've got stomach still shooting at me. I wish I'd not had that, and I wish I'd not just wasted it. Thanks. It's a bit like everything else is in English, but the when they talk, it's in Japanese. It's like, why not just go that extra, extra mile? Too much, too much. Oh, rub me ass. Jeez. Come on. There's a lot going on. Well, I've just used all my lives up with this guy. Jesus. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. Too many bullets. Too many bullets. Not fast enough reactions. Too many bullets. I need some power-ups. That's what I need.
Go. I'm just gonna start shooting out shit in a minute. And then I'm gonna die. Oh, like that. It would be nice if I could just kill this Zeppelin before I died. And I didn't. I just died. Ooh! Now, how the how the hell are we supposed to get past that? Ah, it's it's too too much. It's too much for my feeble brain. My feeble reactions. Come on, I'm gonna at least carry on till I've got rid of the Zeppelin. Ah, oh, keep doing that over and over again. Why, why can't? See, if you sit still for one second, no way around that. How many continues have I used? Too many. I wonder if I need to get to an extreme distance and then come back around to here and... Nope. There must be somewhere on screen that it can't get me. Got it then. I thought I'd sorted it out. Yay! <sighs> Give me a super, super duper powered. Are we travelling through time again? I couldn't agree more, mate. And then shit. Where are the bullets coming from? Too many bullets. Oh. There we go. Uh. Gekka Rinden. Time travel shooting. A bit like an enhanced version of Time Pilot. Um, really. You're travelling through time shooting shit. There's just so many bullets. How do we... How do we... Oh, wow. Ah, oh, right. So we're down to our last game. And this game is on the snares. Um, so, it's called Time Slip. Oh, one word, Time Slip.
again. No idea if it's proper time travel or what, but here we go. Vic Tokai. Tokai. Well, there's a bloke with a big gun. Right, uh, let's see what we've got. Oh dear. No, I've done it again. I'm not getting near enough the edge, am I? Oh. Ah. Oh. What is it with this stupid game? So we can't get near the edge. Oh, that's a naughty... Can't get the right angle. What? What the bloody hell is that? Do I run fast enough for that? No, I don't. There may be a way of stopping it, perhaps. It takes a lot of bullets to shoot these things. Yeah. Take that. What's that? Don't want to walk over it in case it's a mine or something. Oh. Do I have to shoot that to get... Oh, now I'm locked in. Oh! Not fair. jump high enough to get over it either little shit
go, no shit. So I was sent back in the past then to um, stop an alien invasion, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Well, look. There's another game that we, oh yeah, we might come back to, but I don't fancy going through shooting all those fellows again. I like the way the gun shoots. But, um, I think, I think we probably Oh, how long ago did that stop working? Anyway, unplayed, unplayed. Game Boy Advance. Wow. Right, we're going to look in our folder and we're going to find some uh, games we've never played before and that don't fit any of the other segments that we might want to put them in. And we're going to play some of them. Sounds like fun to me. So then, it's time to say goodbye. Um... All, all the stuff, all the stuff that we normally say, uh, email us, retro at snugradio.co.uk. Uh, the website is snugradio.co.uk. We're also um, Snug Radio on Twitch, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and TikTok. Um, if you're watching us on YouTube and you want to watch us live on a Monday night from 7 o'clock, you can. Just come to Twitch. And then, um, you know, you get to see all the things that I edit out before I edit them out for the YouTube video. Um, so that's all the things about us and where to find us. Do do like, subscribe, ring bells, um, comment, share with a friend. All, all the things that every YouTuber tells you to do. That would be super. It's, it's super useful and all those sorts of things. Um, but if you really like to help... Um, well, you could you could buy me a coffee that's in the in the show notes. There's a link in the show notes to our buy me a coffee page. But you can also uh, buy things from our shops because ex I nearly did it again. Moderator Extraordinaire Nutty Cluster has her own design shop called Ink Inspiration. It's on Redbubble, and she has dozens and dozens, hundreds of products. Um, available for you to purchase and they're um she's a super cool designer and she's got loads of things um our, our biggest sellers at the moment are taskmaster quotes and with taskmaster coming back to our screens very soon no doubt she'll have new products available to purchase yes yes she will um so that would be super helpful to the show well to nutty cluster if you really want to help the show directly, then you'd come to my shop, which is the Glorious Idiot, also on Redbubble. Um, I, I do all sorts of things. Um, there's bound to be some sort of design that you like. Because I'm a bit of a... I get a bit bored. I do... I do. I think, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this range of things. And then I'm like, yeah, but I'm just going to do this thing first or this thing in the middle of those things. So we do have a bunch of coffee, uh, coffee drinking cats and we've got some uh, a couple of rock stars made out of stained glass and all that sort of thing. But uh, just pop over to Glory City and have a look. There'll be a link in the show notes. So that's it. That's it. We'll be back uh, next week with some unplayed Game Boy Advance games. Until then, I've been Math. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Till next time, play something retro. Bye.